Now, we're going to answer these questions by chunking on a number line. But for these questions, we're going to get a remainder in our answer. So for 97 divided by 3, because 97 is much bigger than 3, rather than counting up in steps of 3, we can count on our number line in steps of 10 times 3, so in steps of 30. So 10 times 3 is 30. If we add another 30, so another 10 lots of 3, that takes us to 60, and then another 10 lots of 3, so another 30 takes us to 90. Now 90 is close to 97, so now we're not going to count another 10 steps of 3 because that would take us over 97. Instead, we can just count up in 3s. So 3 more than 90 is 93, then another 3 takes us to 96. But if we jumped another step of 3, that would take us to 99, and that would be too many. Now to get to 97 from 96, we just need one more. Not one more step of 3, but just an extra 1. So that extra 1 is our remainder. So 97 divided by 3, we counted 10, 20, 30, 31, 32 steps of 3, but then we needed one more. So our answer is 32 remainder 1. Now 250 divided by 6. So again, we can count in steps of 10 times 6. So in steps of 60. 10 times 6 is 60. If we add another 10 lots of 6, so another 60, that takes us to 120. Then another 10 sixes takes us to 180. And then another 10 takes us to 240. Now this is close to 250. So now, instead of counting in steps of 10 times 6, Let's just add another one jump of 6. That takes us to 246. But if we jumped another 6, we would get to 252. But that would be too many. So from 246, to get to 250, we need to count on another 4. So that extra 4 to get from 246 to 250 is our remainder. So 250 divided by 6, we counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 41 steps of 6, but then we needed another 4. So our answer is 41 remainder 4. Now, 195 divided by 8. So, we can start by counting in steps of 10 times 8. So, in steps of 80. If we add, an, if we add another 10 steps of 8, so another 80, that takes us to 160. But then, from 160, if we jumped another 10 steps of 8, that would be 240, so that would be too many. So, from 160, we can now just jump in steps of 1 times 8. So, adding another 8 takes us to 168. Then, 168 plus 8 is 176. Then, another 8 takes us to 184, and another 8 takes us to 192. But we need to stop here, because if we jumped another 8, that would take us to 200, but that would be too many. So, from 192, how many do you need to count on to get to 195? Well, 195 
is just three more than 192, so our remainder is three. So 195 divided by eight, we counted 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 steps of eight, then we needed three more. So our answer is 24 remainder three.